And welcome to Sick Tap TV. I'm Keith Kornelik. And I'm Chris Kalaszewski. And here are your hockey stories for the week. The Winnipeg Jets fired coach Claude Noel, replacing him with Paul Maurice. The team would have made the move a few weeks ago, but you just can't fire a guy named Noel that close to Christmas. Wayne Gretzky will make an appearance to promote the outdoor game at Dodger Stadium today, some four years after his last public appearance for the National Hockey League. He said he plans to wear shorts to the outdoor game. If Wayne is wearing shorts, imagine what his daughter is going to wear. I'll wear it, Chris. I'll do it. After going two and four in their last six games, Shane Doan of the Phoenix Coyotes told the media, quote, we're not very good. Shane, it's not that you're not very good, it's that you're in the wrong conference. In the East, you'd be locked up into a playoff spot, homie. Nicholas Lidstrom's likeness appears on a box of Detroit hockey heroes. I guess if you can no longer appear as part of a well-balanced scoring attack, you can at least appear as part of a well-balanced breakfast, which I'm totally sure it is. The Penguins' Brendan Sutter's penis was inadvertently revealed during a live interview when the door to the Pens' locker room was opened, resulting in something the internet termed Donggate, proving that the only way to upstage Sidney Crosby is just to show your junk at Hockey Night in Canada. What you gotta do? Shaquille O'Neal appeared at a recent Devils game driving the Zamboni and dropping the ceremonial puck. The real story is that he chose to wear an Alexei Ponikarovsky jersey. That would be like showing up to a Shaq era Lakers game and wearing a Slava Medvedenko jersey. Were they seriously out of Brodeur jerseys in a quadruple XL? Why is he wearing that? Buffalo Sabres rookie center Mikhail Grigorenko will be reporting to his Canadian Junior Hockey League team after initially expressing shock at his demotion from the NHL club. Hey, we understand, kid. You thought the Sabres already were a junior hockey team. Easy mistake. An eight-year-old boy fighting a rare disease dropped a ceremonial puck between Buffalo Sabres Steve Ott and the Washington Capitals' Alexander Ovechkin this weekend. But before he did, he kicked Ott out of the face-off circle to the delight of fans. See, even a sick eight-year-old knows that Steve Ott should not be taking ceremonial anythings. All right, hockey fans, well, if you like the show, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's down below, but you got that because you always like and subscribe. Why wouldn't you? I'm Keith Kornelik. I'm Chris Kalaszewski. Thanks for watching Stick Tap. TV.